Hey guys, I'm going here. Going to do a quick assembly on the Benelli M4. This is the Mac Daddy of the Benelli M4 semi-automatic shotgun world. And in my opinion, it's the coolest one that I get my hands on right now. So anyways, I did another video talking all about this thing and another video shooting it. So this one wants to cut to the chase and take it apart. So first of all, this has the commando style stock. To get this thing off, you're going to bring it out to here. About here. Eventually, you're going to find a spot where it's going to rotate further than normal. And it's going to allow you to pivot it. Crap, that's a... There we go. Okay, it's kind of like between position, so closed, one, and then two. Between one and two, there's a spot where you can rotate it all the way over and then pop it off. Now, this isn't necessary for the assembly of this rifle, but sometimes, again, that's not the most intuitive thing and it's easy to overlook. So, just want to display that really quickly. Next up, we'll just prove it clear, which it is. We'll drop that, we'll lock the bolt back, so that way it's not engaged into the barrel at all. We're going to pop this off. Now I have a, a magnetic extension on here, so nothing's going to go flying out when I just take this off. So that's your ratcheting cap. Now, we can work all this stuff forward a little bit, um, but I have to next undo my mag tube extension here. Now this will want to shoot off because their mag tube spring is underneath that. I've always got one hand on it. There we go. Okay, that's out. Mag tube spring is out of as well. Now that the follower is still in here, if you want to swap your follower, you just toss it out. It would come out the mag tube there. And the rest of this is going to come right off. Oops. Set that aside over there for now. Now this is your barrel, obviously, so you can you know, clean that out. This choke tube is on pretty loose, so we just thread that off, thread that back on. And your Argo gas system is in here. Um, these these pusher rods are essentially what operate it. You can see the pistons are up in here. They're a bunch of work, a bunch of like, well not a bunch of work, but you have to like spin them quite a while to get them off. So I'm just gonna leave them on for now. But basically you just turn them all the way off and then you can do the pistons out if you need to clean them. But again, it's supposed to be somewhat self-cleaning, self-regulating, you don't need to do too much with them. So. Um, this gives you access to the you know, inside of your barrel. Get that all cleaned up nice, it's all chrome plated. Makes it really easy to clean. Mag tube extension, mag tube, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, now you just want to get the bolt outside of this, which I will hold it back carefully. Press this down and just let this ease it forward so it doesn't go flying out of the gun. Now you're just going to pull off your charging handle. It's just held under there tension. And then your whole bolt and everything comes out the front. Uh, you could swap out your mag tube permanently with the more, you know, you'd have to unthread this. It's in there pretty tight. You can also take off your lower. You just push this pin out here, but really that just takes your trigger group out and it's kind of a hassle to get back in. So I'm just going to leave it as is because again, that's all you do is pop this pin out and then this hinges out and uh, you just put it back in when you're done. So here's your, your bolt carriage, your little rat tail. This is what goes into this tube and there's a buffer mechanism in there. Um, and then you got your bolt. So it's very similar again to your typical AK or sorry, AR or um, G30 AR18 or AR15 kind of disassembly uh, up here. There is a firing pin, retaining pin. Pop that guy out. It's gonna poop out your uh, firing pin because it is under spring tension. Then you've got this cam pin, which as you'll notice is Got a little marker there, which is supposed to correspond to um, nothing, but that's just the way that it was. That's the way I've kept it. So that should eventually fall out. Or be pulled out because it is a tight, relatively tight machining fit. And there's your bolt. So that's all there is to that. You can just give it a, give it a clean, re-lube all the contact points and um, put her back together. So I'll do that for you really quickly here. A lot of the stuff only goes in one way, which is always helpful. Firing pin, just gotta make sure the firing pin catches the cam pin, which it did, so that's perfect. 
and then have it pressed in enough so you get your detent in. This is just a tight fit. You just push it. It's got a little rubber grommet on it that makes it a tight fit against this shelf here. But we are good to go. Everything functions really nice. I'll just hit it with a little bit of a G96 here. Now we're going to grab our receiver. We're just going to set this back inside. Let the rails re-engage. Just everything should fit in nice and smooth. Take your charging handle, force it back in. There we go. And then now actually what you want to do is press this button here because you want to relock this back, which should just take a little bit of pressure and it should go right back there. So that's that. Now for okay, oh, we'll do that last. Okay, now we'll do our barrel assembly. Grab this, ease it back over the magazine tube. That all slides in nicely, but don't it has to don't drop your bolt just yet because you have to for if you have an extended magazine tube anyways. Ease that off a bit, get your mag tube spring back in there and your extension tube. That goes in there as well against the spring pressure it's always a little bit awkward but you get it in there and then just ease that ahead enough to get this through push this back and then just thread this on put it on all the way sometimes three hands are better than two but i think we got it yep just get that all the way threaded on nice and snug Hand tight's fine. Then push your barrel and everything back in. You can uh, get this guy put back on. Again, just snug. Drop your bolt. And put your buttstock back on. There we go. That's, uh, that's it, fellas. She's good to go. Thanks for tuning in. Again, feel free to check out the rest of my channels. I got a shooting vid of this. I got an instructional vid on this. And uh, my Instagram, at arm.and.gun. I post daily there and I engage with my audience. So DM me if you got any specific questions. Otherwise, have a nice day. Bye.